Hello people, this is Squash Corner and I picked up some Magic Candle Company scented candles. Let's get started and open this baby up. Alright, my expectations are very high because I always see sponsors for a lot of Disney type content YouTubers. And I they always get sponsored by this company. And one of my favorite things at Disneyland and in the Disney parks in general is the scents. So like I'm a big fan of how the water smells. I love a lot of scents like from the churros, the little shops, they always have d delicious like fragrances. Alright, opening the box, they greet you with a little postcard, we bring the vacation to you. Thank you, we hope you enjoy your purchase and we cannot wait to serve you again. I'm not sponsored at all, I'm really curious on their products to see if they're of quality, so I do have high expectations once we get into the candles. Start your Magical Fragrance Box description today. Use your promo code MAGIC20 and get 20% off your first month. Oh dear. All right, what we're looking at right now is two candles. I bought the Haunted Mansion scented one, the Pirates of the Caribbean water scented one. This I believe is a like oil, like an oil fragrance spray. But so far my products look really fine. Like there's no damages or anything. So I guess if you're buying uh, the, one of the fragrance oils or if you're buying one of these candles that come in a tin, I can't imagine it getting damaged. So I guess I wouldn't recommend anything more expensive than the regular shipping. All right, I'm very excited. But right now we're looking at the, the Pirate Life Enchanted Fragrance Oil. That's what it is. Okay. It's open, now it's time to smell it. Whew, here we go. I don't, let me rest this. So far it's, I don't smell anything. Maybe I have to let it reside, maybe marinate or something. Right now I don't smell no haunted, I mean, I don't smell no pirate water. Okay, no, you know what? We'll wait for this. Let's go for the pirates one, since this, this, this is pirate theme. And my expectations for how the water smells. Very high, and so far I took a good sniff and I do not smell the pirate water that I am looking for. So let's try this, let's try this. This is the candle. Ooh, look how pretty it is though. I like that. So what it says on the description is capture the spirit of excitement and a high seas adventure with our pirate life fragrance featuring pleasant notes of oceanic fresh air of oceanic air fresh rain and salty sea breeze and if you go to actually the comments in where i'm reading it in their website uh somebody commented that it smells like when you're plunging down the first uh drop in pirates of the caribbean there's kind of like a sense of like cold water hitting your face and there's a specific scent that comes by when you're in that situation and that's what i'm guessing this is supposed to be okay i gotta I, i've been sniffing this i'm not lying i'm dead serious for like five minutes and then i could give you my opinion right now so the candle burnt will smell like this because it's so condensed and me sniffing this it feels honestly like what the comment said it felt like there's like a fresh cold breeze hitting you. I, I like I'm talking metaphorically, but I can see what people are talking about. It feels there's a certain coldness and a certain like fresh water hitting your face. And I feel like it does capture that experience. It actually does. And I give this actually a thumbs up. But I guess what I personally expected was I wanted the Splash Mountain, the Pirates of the Caribbean water, that's what I wanted. That disgusting, high potent bromine uh, hitting my face. It's not really a good smell, but I love that smell. And that's what I wanted from this collection. Well, I'm saying from the Pirates one, and I just didn't get it. Hello people, this is Squash Corner from the future really quick. And then I just felt like it was really important to add this note, but it is my fault that I couldn't get the scent that I wanted. Like if I really wanted that pirate water scent, I should have got the splash candle that they had in their website. In the description it says, our splash fragrance contains pleasant notes of rainwater, damp air, and ozone that creates the smell of getting soaked. I'm pretty sure that's exactly what the water is that I'm missing out on and, and that I wanted to get. So that is my fault for going in blind and not reading the description of the candle that I purchased. Okay, we'll let this put to the side. I'm, I keep talking, so we'll, we'll get to this. Sorry, sorry about that. Okay, this is the Haunted Mansion smell. Okay, I actually don't know how the Haunted Mansion smells like. I guess I really don't pay attention compared to the Pirates one because the Pirates one is way stronger. So let's take a good whiff of this one. What is it? Hmm. 
It's like cinnamon. It's like burnt. The haunted candle's description says, Our haunted fragrance features a ghostly combination of cedar wood and classic vanilla that is beloved by all happy haunts. Okay, people, I am back. I burnt the candle. <laughs> My overall thoughts on the haunted candle is that nothing screams haunted mansion to me. I understand that it, this candle is not called haunted mansion, but I feel like a lot of the marketing and a lot of the comments people are describing it to smell like the haunted mansion. They don't specifically say it, but they mentioned a certain dark ride that smells like this, but that's not what I get from it. What I get from it though, is it does have a Halloween type smell. It does smell like in a sense candy. And that wood smell gives you that feeling that it's fall. I feel like this combination makes this candle really good for Halloween and I highly recommend it and give it a thumbs up. But if you're looking for a candle that actually smells like the Haunted Mansion, Disney's Haunted Mansion, this is not what you'll be looking for. Hello people, this is Squash Corner from the future again and I waited a couple of days to do my overall conclusion just to see if I enjoy the product even more. And I honestly do, it is positive that I always have something nice to smell and it does keep a different vibe in my room and my household. All these three products cost me $50. I do believe if you're somebody who's going to keep these candles for a very long time, like if you burn it, I believe it'll take like three weeks for it to completely fade. So overall, even though the price is pretty steep, I feel like these products for any theme park goer or somebody who wants to have a different vibe in their household, I highly recommend these products and I feel like it's of quality. I gave it the squash seal of approval and I guess I'll bid thee farewell guys and that's pretty much what I have to say. See ya.